Attack on Titan, 10 Best Episodes to Rewatch Attack on Titan has become one of the most consistently great anime of all time. However, some episodes are more worth revisiting than others. It's not uncommon for an anime series to hit the ground running and connect with audiences in a colossal way right from its debut, yet there's an extra level of excitement that's been attached to the groundbreaking Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan has been one of the most popular anime of the decade and it's turned into a masterpiece of storytelling, character work, and unbelievable action sequences. Part of what makes Attack on Titan so addicting is that its story is never afraid to make major changes and re-establish the status quo. This has led to some extremely exciting story arcs throughout the course of Attack on Titan. As the concluding half of Attack on Titan's final season looms closer, there's no better time to revisit the most satisfying episodes thus far. 10. Midnight Sun presents the heroes with an impossible ultimatum. A series like Attack on Titan is often at its best when its characters are lost in shades of grey that reiterate the messy and uncertain nature of the world. Midnight Sun is an elegant and thoughtful installment of the series that involves both Armin and Erwin at death's door, with only one of them able to receive the Titan serum and usurp the role of the colossal Titan. Both sides in this argument make excellent points and no one is wrong, which makes the decision and fallout so difficult to process. 9. Declaration of War reunites Eren and Reiner and triggers the beginning of the end. Attack on Titan's fourth season achieves a bewildering sense of pacing where every episode accomplishes an incredible amount and feels like it completely reframes the series. Declaration of War is a crucial turning point in this season, and it officially furthers the feud between Marley and Eldia. Much of the episode involves a calm conversation between Reiner and Kruger, who turns out to actually be Eren. This mature discussion of belief and how Reiner and Eren are the same is enlightening, but the episode's big finish is where Eren transforms and wages war during the height of Marley's Liberio Festival. 8. Perfect Game reaffirms Erwin Smith as a fearless leader and the cost of war. Attack on Titan has provided many opportunities for characters to sacrifice themselves for some sort of greater good. Perfect Game is a devastating yet crucial episode from Attack on Titan's third season that has the scouts separated and in the height of battle against the Colossal and Beast Titans. Erwin Smith recognizes the futility of their odds against the Beast Titan, which leads to him fearlessly barrel ahead in a tactic that he knows will end in tragedy. It's a strong reinforcement of Erwin's strength. But it also furthers the bitter rivalry that exists between the Beast Titan and Levi. 7. Savagery further separates Eren from his friends and humanity. Attack on Titan's fourth season leaves both the audience and characters unable to trust Eren at face value. Even those who are closest to Eren, like Mikasa and Armin, are unsure of where his true intentions lie. Savagery has Eren's friends confront him, only for him to confirm that he's thinking clearly and that he attempts to burn bridges with his remaining links to humanity. It's heartbreaking to watch Mikasa and Armin process all of this. The emotional fallout between Eren, Mikasa, and Armin is the highlight of savagery, but it also advances the growing feud between Levi and the Beast Titan. 6. Thunder Spears is an action spectacular that debuts a powerful new weapon. Attack on Titan excels with its storytelling and character work but the weaponry and technology that's developed in the anime are also deeply compelling. Omnidirectional maneuvering gear has become an iconic component of the series, but the increased durability of certain titans, like the Armored Titan, has resulted in the development of even more aggressive equipment. Thunder Spears marks the debut of the titular weapons, which finally provide headway on breaking through the Armored Titan's resilient exterior. It's an episode with an amazing battle sequence that ends in a way where the scouts feel ready for whatever comes next. 5. 
the other side of the sea, begins the humanization of Marley. Each season of Attack on Titan has pushed the narrative forward in incredible ways, but the transformation that occurs during the start of the fourth and final season is on a whole other level. The Other Side of the Sea kicks off Attack on Titan's final season, and it almost feels like a completely different show. Eren and all of the show's familiar figures are abandoned in favor of shifting the anime's focus to the Marleyan warriors, who have previously only been presented as villains. It's an excellent way to begin blurring the lines between heroes and villains. 4. That Day finally looks into the contents of Grisha's basement and beyond. The beginning seasons of Attack on Titan can sometimes be an exercise in patience. A crucial mystery that's been present since the first episode is what lurks inside Grisha's basement. That day is a very satisfying opportunity to provide answers through an extended look into Grisha's childhood, the death of his sister, his marriage with Dina Fritz, and the birth of Zeke. And ultimately, Zeke's betrayal of his family for what he believes is the greater good. It's an excellent example of how Attack on Titan reframes its story and expands its scope in a staggering fashion. 3. Hero functions as Armin's turning point and solidifies his courageous status. Attack on Titan explores incredibly realistic character development and some characters are paralyzed into a place of passivity for an extended stretch of episodes. Armin Arlert is one of the most important heroes in the series, but it's not until season 3's hero that he finally steps up to the plate and proves what he can do. Armin and Eren hatch a controversial plan with the hopes of finally overwhelming Bertholdt's colossal titan. It's a dangerous gambit that ultimately works, but Armin pays a heavy price and the audience is left unsure if he'll survive to celebrate the momentary victory. 2. Warrior turns the tables as two titan traitors get revealed. The first two seasons of Attack on Titan have an extra level of suspense behind them as Eren and company try to figure out who is behind enemies like the Colossal Titan, Armored Titan, and Female Titan. Warrior from Attack on Titan's second season will forever be seen as a classic episode as it casually provides the answers for this huge mystery in a very unexpected fashion that totally catches the audience by surprise. It's an excellent installment that pushes the series' story forward and proves that it will progress on its own. 1. Attack on Titan's very first episode only becomes better through hindsight. Some anime series take some time to really get moving, and their opening installments can almost seem embarrassing or quaint in comparison to the places that a series will end up. Attack on Titan is a rare case where the earlier episodes are even more satisfying after knowing what's in store during the series' final act. Attack on Titan creates such layered and cyclical storytelling that episodes like the premiere. To you, in 2000 years, the fall of Shiganshina, part 1, hit even harder once the audience knows where Eren is headed and the future of the Titans.